Friedrich Wohler was a German chemist, best known for his synthesis of urea, but also the first to isolate several chemical elements. Biography He was born in Aschersheim, which belonged to Hanna at the time but is nowadays a district of Frankfurt am Main. In 1823 Wohler finished his study of medicine in Heidelberg at the laboratory of Leopold G. Mellon who arranged for him to work under John Jacob Byzelius in Stockholm, Sweden. He taught chemistry from 1826 to 1831 at the Polytechnic School in Berlin until 1839 when he was stationed at the Polytechnic School at Kassel. Afterwards, he became ordinary professor of chemistry in the University of Göttingen, where he remained until his death in 1882. In 1834, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Contributions to Chemistry Wohler is regarded as a pioneer in organic chemistry as a result of his synthesizing urea in the Wohler synthesis in 1828. This discovery has become celebrated as a refutation of vitalism, the hypothesis that living things are alive because of some special vital force. However, contemporary accounts do not support that notion. This were myth, as historian of science Peter J. Ramberg called it, originated from a popular history of chemistry published in 1931, which, ignoring all pretense of historical accuracy, turned Wohler into a crusader who made attempt after attempt to synthesize a natural product that would refute vitalism and lift the veil of ignorance, until, one afternoon the miracle happened. Nevertheless, it was the beginning of the end of one popular vitalist hypothesis, that of John Jacob Bazelius that organic compounds could be made only by living things. Major works, discoveries and research. Wohler was also known for being a co-discoverer of beryllium, silicon and silicon nitride, as well as the synthesis of calcium carbide, among others. In 1834, Wohler and Justice Liebig published an investigation of the oil of bitter almonds. They proved by their experiments that a group of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms can behave like an element, take the place of an element, and be exchanged for elements in chemical compounds. Thus the foundation was laid of the doctrine of compound radicals, a doctrine which had a profound influence on the development of chemistry. Since the discovery of potassium by Humphrey Davy, it had been assumed that alumina, the basis of clay, contained a metal in combination with oxygen. Davy, Orsted, and Bazelius attempted the extraction of this metal, but failed. Wohler then worked on the same subject, and discovered the metal aluminium in 1827. To him also is due the isolation of the element citrium, beryllium, and titanium, the observation that silicium can be obtained in crystals, and that some meteoric stones contain organic matter. He analyzed meteorites, and for many years read the digest on the literature of meteorites in the Jarisberic to Ubedia Fortschre der Chemie. He possessed the best private collection of meteoric stones and ions exist. Wohler and St. Clair de Ville discovered the crystalline form of boron, and Wohler and Heinrich Bach discovered silane in 1857. Wohler also prepared urea, a constituent of urine, from ammonium cyanate in the laboratory without the help of a living cell. Final Days and Legacy Wohler's discoveries had great influence on the theory of chemistry. The journals of every year from 1820 to 1881 contain contributions from him. In the Scientific American Supplement for 1882, it was remarked that for two or three of his researches he deserves the highest honor a scientific man can obtain, but the sum of his work is absolutely overwhelming. Had he never lived, the aspect of chemistry would be very different from that it is now. Wohler had several students who became notable chemists. Among them were Georg Ludwig Carius, Heinrich Limprit, Rudolf Fittig, Adolf Wilhelm Hermann Kolb, Albert Niemann, and Vojtech Zafari. 
Further works. Further works from Werner Lehrbach der Camille, Dresden, 1825, 4 vols. Grundriss der Anorganischen Chemie, Berlin, 1830. Grundriss der Chemie, Berlin, 1837 to 1858, Volume One and Amp Two, Digital Edition by the University and State Library, Düsseldorf. Grundriss der Organischen Chemie, Berlin, 1840.